What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, man. Just another game at game, man. And I'm back with another tutorial for GTA, man. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use the add-on vehicles creator, man. And it's going to be brought to you by Gannick, man. Big shout out to Gannick, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So basically, what this mod right here is going to do, man, is it's going to, uh, we can take 5M cars and we're going to make them the DLCs so that we can actually put them in our DLC packs and we can actually use them in story mode. Yeah, you heard that right. Story mode. So, guys, the first link is going to bring you right here. All right, so I know I tell you guys to use current all the time, but we're not going to use current. We're going to use 1.4. You want to download 1.4. So hit that download right there for me. Go ahead and download that there. And then the next link is going to bring you guys over here. As you can see, that I typed in 5M so that we can bring up some 5M things. We have an Audi right here. We're going to use this Audi right here. As you can see, it's add-on and 5M. So we're going to go ahead and click on that right there. And this Audi is brought to you by DTD RS Mods. DTD RS Mods. Big shout out, man. Big shout out, man. All right, guys. So y'all know the routine, man. We're going to go ahead and hit that current so we can download that bad boy. This here, I always read the description, let you know what's going on with the car, everything that's happening with it, all the bugs, all the updates. So, once you have your requirements downloaded, you will need OpenIV for this. You will need OpenIV for this. Give you guys time to open up OpenIV. Okay, guys, once you have your open IV um, open and you have your requirements installed, you're going to go ahead and click on the add on creator right there, the EXE. My uh, security system does this here. Yours may not do this here, but you want to go ahead and run it anyway because we know it's safe. All right, guys. So, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> open up our car that we have. And then we're going to go down here to add on 5M. All right. Now you see this here? This is set up for 5M, but we're going to make it for uh, story mode. I got you. I told you I got you. So what you want to do is you want to open up that stream folder. And you want to just left click right here. And then you just want this right here. You don't want the dot YFT. You just want this right here. So you're going to right click and you're going to copy. And you're going to come over here and you're going to paste that bad boy right there. Boom. Right in there. Bam. Just like that right now. Okay. Seeing how I believe this was a two-door car, we needed to be a two-door car. So, you know, don't go trying to make it a Maverick or a police Maverick. It's not a helicopter, you know what I mean? It's not a semi, you know, it, it's, uh, it's not a truck, so we don't want to put it as bikes. And you know what I mean? You want to put the vehicle as it is, you know what I'm saying? All right, so make that adder real quick. And then right here, we're going to create add-on. Create add-on. Desktop. That's what we wanted. We wanted to come to our desktop. All right, so that was successfully created right there. So now we're going to close this down right here. We're going to back up real right here. And then what we're going to do is, is okay, guys, once you had your uh, photo created, you want to go ahead and open that bad boy up right there. And you see, that's going to be uh, DLC RPL. That's just what we need. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And just so you guys know, you want to make sure it's in edit mode. But to keep it in edit mode, you're going to go to tools. You're going to go to options right here. And then you're going to scroll down where it says default work mode, where it says uh, yours is going to say read only. You want to click on edit. And then just close that bad boy out. Now every time you go in here, it's already in edit mode. Boom, boom. All right, so follow me, guys. We're going to go to mods, update, 64, DLC packs. And then right here is where we're going to drop our DLC pack. Boom. It's going to go drop right down there in the bottom. We're going to open that bad boy up. We're going to open up this raise package. And then we're going to go right here to common. And then data. All right. So see right here in data where we have all this right here? This is it. This is the data right here. Everything except the uh, vehicle handling. So we want to grab all this right here. We don't, need the, we don't need the resource, though, or the stream. We just want to start from right here. Left control. I mean control. Left click, left click, and drag and drop them bad boys right in there. All right, so now for our vehicle meta, we're going to go into levels, the GTA folder, and it's going to be right here. We don't need this no more, so we're going to go ahead and delete that bad boy right there. Yes, we, we sure. Grab that vehicle meta, drag and drop that bad boy right in there. 
Now we're going to go back, 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 back. And then we're going to go. So now what we're going to go in is 64 levels, GTA 5 folder, uh, vehicles. And then we're going to go into the vehicles, RPF. And then right here, see how it's empty right here? That's when you're going to go in the stream. And we want the stream. We want the stream in here. This is all a part of the vehicle, man. This is all a part of the vehicle. All right, guys. So now the only thing left to do right now, we're going to hit file, close all archives. We're going to close. Okay, guys. Once you've closed out of all archives, we're going to go into mods again. We're going to update. My bad. Update. Update RPF. Common. Data. And then we're going to scroll down right here to where it says DLC list. You're going to right click and you're going to go up here to where it says edit. You want to open up edit. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then down here, your item line is going to say something different because these are different things I have installed. But you want to just copy that bad boy right there. Come to the end. You want to hit enter. And then you want to go here and you want to paste it right here. That same item line, you want to paste it right there. You're going to double click right here. This is what we're replacing, this word right here. Come back up just like we did it earlier. All we want is the vehicle. We don't want the y, uh, dot .YTL. We just want the vehicle. Right click, copy. Come over here, right click, paste. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. All right. Once you've done that, we're going to go to file again. And then we're going to go to close all archives. All right, guys, so nothing else to do right now except run the game after you close these, uh, after you close these. <laughs> Catch y'all in the game. Okay, guys, once you spawn into the game, you will need some type of trainer for this or uh, add-on car spawner. So you have simple trainer menu, add-on car spawner. I'm going to use add-on car spawner, so I'm going to search for the vehicle oh, right here. This is what we installed. Let's see if it works. Bam. There it is. Oh, yeah. There's the car, guys. That's the car we just installed. And everything's on there. <laughs> All right, guys. This video helps you out, man. Give me a thumbs up, man. Smash that like button, man. Hit that share. Leave a comment. Let me know, man. It's your boy. Just another game. I came in. Whoa. As you can see, everything works on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all keep gaming. Be safe. Peace.